We have uh, uh, probably somebody you can already recognize from her lovely face, but uh, maybe if you don't recognize her, we're gonna we're gonna give you a little sneak peek real quick. So before we even start, could you could you please say Mozambique here, uh, level four in your character's voice? Mozambique, yeah, level four. There we go. There we go. That's it. Add it to the list, boys. Thank you so much for Anjali Bamani for joining us today. I really really appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks for having me. I'm excited to chat and excited to, to have a chance to connect with you and some more Apex family out there. I, I asked this for all the voice actors because, you know, everybody's interested. Uh, how was your first audition? Like, how did it go when you were coming in and you were figuring out, you know, like this was right. Apex Legends that you were voice acting for and that you got the voice for Rampart? Well, the, my first audition was uh, a recording at home, so I didn't have a sense of what it was for. But my callback was when I started to, to uh, understand what was going on. Right. Um, uh, and it was cool because, first of all, I, I have I've had the luxury of not actually having very many callbacks mm -hmm. um, and just getting a lot of things where I did the audition and then I got the job. Yeah. So yeah. I shouldn't say the luxury. I've had the good fortune of that. But I think the luxury is actually getting the chance to have the callback and to work with the director. So it was really, really fun because I already knew Eric from other auditions that I had done. Um, I actually had auditioned, incidentally, for Bloodhound before that. I'm very oh, glad what? I didn't get that because Allegra is so perfect for it and I yeah. am so not. Um, so I had met uh, I had met Eric and the team a little bit earlier, but but mostly remembered Eric at the time because that's the main person you're dealing with when you're when you're first having that first set of, of callbacks. Um, and it was super fun because Rampart is so much more like me than any of a lot of my other characters that I play. Mm. Um, so it was just like me having a good time uh, with my accent and. Yeah. Uh, uh, and that was pretty much it. Like, it was really, really fun. The lines are so much fun. They've written her in such a beautiful way. They've made her so fun that the laugh that you hear a lot in the, uh, in the game is yeah. my own laugh, laughing at myself, but really not myself, laughing at the lines they've written. Yeah. And so it's like, it sounds like Rampart is being very proud of herself because I think she's hilarious. <laughs> yeah. And she should be very proud of herself because she's really funny. But then when course. she did, and the first thing you see when she comes up is she's, she grabs a piece of gum from the ground off of her boot and just eats it. And I'm like, good Lord, yeah. chaotic good. She is just straight chaotic good. She's definitely know. chaotic. Like she's definitely, I don't know. I feel like she might be chaotic neutral. <laughs> I'm very much a rule follower in life. Like mm -hmm. I very much like, I feel comfortable playing by the rules. And then when I break them, even when it's necessary to break them, there's a part of me that's like, oh, okay, I got to do this for the greater good, but breaking the rules is freaking me out. Well, how does um, how does that translate to Rampart then? Because I, I, I've i talked to Chris before who, who plays Pathfinder and he's mentioned that, you know, obviously not everybody does it, but there is room for improv and things that just happen in the booth. That's like, wow, that's really good and things. So how does that how does that work? Because Rampart is she's supposed to be chaotic. She's supposed to be this. Oh, it's fine. Grim. It's just, you know, you play that character. Right. That, like, which yeah. is such a joy <laughs> to play a character with no filter. You know, because I, I am very filtered in my life. I am very careful about what I say because words have power. Yeah. Um, but uh, uh, <laughs> she uses her power in a very different way and it's very fun. I, I have a lot of respect for like the voice actors and the, and the way you guys do things and it's always just really cool to see to see you guys do your thing. I really like it. Thank you. Thank you for that. I think especially once you've you've played a role for a while, it's very easy mm -hmm. to slip into and some roles are easier than others. It's that yeah. first finding who the character is and figuring it out with the team um, that's both very exciting but also a little bit nerve wracking because you're just you're trying to find exactly the right thing, the right yeah. pitch, the right uh, the right the right depth of the accent. Um, the, you know, it, it's it's especially tricky in games like Apex and Overwatch because we want to be very um, authentic and respectful to the cultures that inspire these characters, but we also have to take into consideration that, you know, Apex is on a planet in the future, so it's yeah, not it's... set in... Uh, her, her origins may seem British Indian, but mm. there's no India and there's no UK where yeah. she is. Like, yeah. we're out here in the islands. Apex Legends quite literally is a cinematic movie, video game, story thing that is still actively happening live and you guys are still recording things live and doing all of this work and it's 
it's so cool. Like, it's hard not to geek out about it. I haven't got past the training yet. I can't get past the training module. <laughs> and I think because one of the buttons is just not. not oh, no. <laughs> what do you it's have? It's just not doing anything. And I have a PS4 that I uh, bought in. I think we bought in 2016 and I've probably played it like 10 times. So, so it's very like, it's, it's a sad, <laughs> it sad state of affairs. I heard that maybe you have a little, uh, a little Kickstarter, a little, a little something, something coming out. So you know. I do, I do, I do, I do. So a little backstory on this, um, because I love storytelling in every way. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the reasons why I'm an actor. And I, I will act in pretty much any medium that they allow me to act in. So, you know, I've, I've done stage, I've done film, I've done yeah. voice acting, I've done TV, whatever they let me do, right? Mm. Opera, um, whatever it is. And so the next medium of storytelling uh, for me is actual writing and writing a book. And so this is based, I've written a book called I Am Fun Size and So Are You, Thoughts from a Tiny Human on Living a Giant Life. And it is based on a web series that I started in 2017 that was a, a love letter to the online gaming community and really the online just enthusiast community that, that existed out there because people have been so incredibly kind and supportive and artistically generous. Having a buddy, having your buddy in a book that you can pick up and you can keep anywhere, you can keep it in your backpack and you keep it on your dining room table, you keep it wherever you want. You can pick up anytime and know that you're not alone, that there's someone else who's been struggling and going through things and here are some ways that I've learned to handle things and here are some ways that I've been terrible at it. Cause guess what? I've sucked at things too. And and just, I just wanted to give people something to be a, a little bit of a light um, during troubled times and then also something to provide a certain amount of perspective or new perspective on things during great times. Honestly, I think a lot of people are really excited about it. It has, uh, it's, it's got dogs in it. It's got you It's got in dogs it. in it. What? It's got a dog. It's got an illustration of a dog playing a lute. What more could you possibly what need? What more could you possibly want? Take a sip of water real oh, sip quick. Of water. Okay. I'm going to take a sip of my coffee. Ah, yes, this uh, is an official water break on screen. Wait, that reminds me. I do have a sponsor for this video. Hold on. Hold oh, on. oh, okay. Hold on. I have Who's a... sponsoring your video. You really should remember those things. Yeah, I re this video is sponsored by Glitch Energy. If you want to pick up some Glitch Energy, use code RETRO for 25% off. You can pick out uh, any flavor you want. Delicious. And uh, you'd really help with the channel. Well, hi, Octane. I imagine me if I were on an energy drink. Yeah. Have oh, I have a Oh, he, you guys. He went away. I've learned a lot from getting to be back in the gaming community because I was totally a gamer when I was a kid, and then I and then I stopped uh, because life, you know. What died. was your anyway. What was your favorite uh, childhood game? Well, I, like I said, I started with TTRPGs, so I played Dungeons and Dragons from age oh, eight. Yes. And then yes. when I went to college, well, not college, probably in high school, mm -hmm. I started playing on the computer and there were all the forgotten realms games that were on the oh, computer yeah, that was like straight up rpgs yeah. like Baldur's game yes and shadows of Amun and all of that stuff so i played all of those um i love the fact that my dear friend jennifer hale was a voice of someone that i played when i was a child and now she's like a dear, what? dear, dear, dear that's so family. crazy oh my gosh can i show you what just came in the mail of, of course i was please. gonna post about this but you're gonna see it first yes oh, exclusive so you saw it here first. Look what I got! Oh, you got a Nessie! No way! I'm so look, look! Where did Nessie so long ago? And finally, oh, I'm so excited. I'm afraid to take her out right now because my room looks like an Amazon fulfillment Behold. facility. You gonna teach me how to play this freaking game? Yeah, for sure. If you wanna, if you want me to teach you how to play, we can like, we can get you in and maybe we, we can uh, record a video or something. Who knows? If you guys yeah, wanna see so us I would love play, that, but we have let to us spend know. a little time just showing me. It. Well, first, let's figure out if my controller is working. <laughs> well, but most of all, everybody out there, everybody, anyone who's listening, um, I. I such a, it's just gonna sound super cheesy what I'm about to say, but I just feel the need to say it, especially in these times. I hope everyone can take that out into the world and take these heroes that you play as and take that power out into the world because you have the agency to make the life that you want. So take care of yourselves and take care of each other. I couldn't have said it any better myself. Thank you so much again, Anjali, for coming out.